everyone and welcome to story time i'm miss michelle i'm so glad that you could join me today uh, the most important thing that i want you to remember with all of these story times is wherever you're sitting whether you're in your bedroom you're in the kitchen you're in the living room it's just really important to participate in all of the activities that we do today so let's go ahead and get started show me your fingers and wiggle them and we're going to do our warm-up exercise called dance your fingers so dance your fingers up up high dance them down low dance them side to side and we're going to dance them all around dance them on your shoulders dance them on your head dance them on your tummy and we're going to put them all to bed very good let's do that one more time Dance your fingers up, up high. Dance them down low. We're gonna dance them side to side and we're gonna dance them all around. Dance your fingers on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy. We're gonna put them all to bed. Very good. So let's sing our hello song, which is uh, if you're happy and you know it. So we do clap, clap, stomp, stomp. And then we shout, hooray, on the count of three. One, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Very good job, everyone. So for today, I have my little story time mailbox. And in this mailbox are some clues to what we're gonna be talking about for today's story time. But in order to get the mailbox open, we have to sing a little song. And can you go ahead and clap your hands like this? Goes like this. A, B, C, and one, two, three. What's in the mailbox? What can it be? See if we can get it open. Wow. It's not opening. We're gonna have to sing our song again. Let's try that again. A, B, C, and one, two, three. What's in the mailbox? What can it be? Let's see if it worked. Oh, I was able to get the mailbox open and it looks like we have some mail today. So let me pull out the first letter. It is addressed to all of us, to Miss Michelle's story time. So we all got a letter. Let's see what's inside. What do you think is going to be inside? Go ahead and tell me. Those are very exciting answers. I'm gonna see if you guessed right. You're really gonna like this. <gasps> Look at that. Do you know what that is? Those are corn dogs. One for you and one for me. Let's put them on our flannel board. So there's one, two corn dogs. <gasps> Yummy. What is this? What color is it? It's yellow. That's mustard. And this corn dog has, what is this? What color? That's right, it's red. It's ketchup. Can you say that? Ketchup. All right, so we have our two corn dogs. Let's see what else is in here. Another letter for us. It's Michelle's story time. What color is this envelope? blue. Let's see what's inside. Wow, it's some venom 
animals. Let's put that guy there. What do you call this animal? That's right, it's called a sheep. And what sound do sheep make? They go, ba. Can you make that sound? Ba. Let's see what else is in here. Wow. Let's put him right here. Do you know what kind of animal that is? That's right. It's a cow. And what sound do cows make? They go, moo. Can you make that sound with me? Moo. Very good. Let's see what else is in here. Another letter just for us. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> wow, what a treat. Literally a treat. Let's put this over here. What is that? It is cotton candy. And let's look at the colors. What color is this? That's right, it's pink. And what about the cone? It has blue and white stripes. So let's look at all of our clues. So this one is tricky because we have animals. We have a cow and a sheep. But then we also have food. We have corn dogs and cotton candy. Hmm. Where do we see all of these things? Animals with food. I know the fair. Oh, today we're talking about the fair. We're going to read books about the fair and we'll sing songs about the fair. So please join me so we can all go to the fair together. So since we're talking about the fair today, I'm going to read a very fun book that's just about the fair. And it's called Cows to the Rescue by John Himmelman. And we're reading it with the permission of Macmillan Publishers. And actually one fun thing about this book is that we're going to say the phrase cows to the rescue a lot. So I want you guys to join in and say it with me. It was the day of the county fair. At seven o'clock, Farmer Greenstock could not start the car. There he is, he's having car trouble. <gasps> cows to the rescue! Oh, look at all of those cows. County Fair. Thanks for the lift, said Farmer Greenstock. At nine o'clock, Jeffrey was sad that he was the only one signed up for the three-legged race. Look at how sad he looks. Cows to the rescue! Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. You all deserve first place, said Jeffrey. At 11 o'clock, Ernie the duck got all muddy before the handsomest duck contest. Oh no, look at him, he's covered in mud. Cows to the rescue. Oh, and they're washing him. Quack, said Ernie. He's all wet. At one o'clock, Mrs. Greenstock couldn't find her family to pose for funny pictures. Cows to the rescue! And look it, she posed with the cows. These 
will look great on my refrigerator, said Mrs. Greenstock. At three o'clock, Emily wanted to go on the Ferris wheel, but she was too afraid. What do you think is going to happen now? Cows to the rescue! They all got on the Ferris wheel with her. That wasn't scary at all, said Emily. At five o'clock, Jeffrey learned that pigs hadn't studied for the smartest pig contest. Uh-oh, what do you think will happen? That's right, cows to the rescue. And it looks like they are teaching all of the pigs everything they need to know for the contest. Oink, said the pigs. At seven o'clock, everyone was exhausted. Even the cows were too tired to walk all the way home. Just look how tired they are. Oh, wow. Look at that. They're all piled on this wheelbarrow. The end. Okay, everyone, we're going to do a really fun activity. It's actually a scarf activity called Popcorn Kernels. And for this activity, you will need a scarf. Uh, so parents, it's a good idea to pause the video at this moment and find a scarf in your home. It doesn't have to be a scarf. You could use a t-shirt. Uh, you could use a bandana. You could go into your kitchen and use a dishcloth. I mean, it could really be anything that can double as a scarf. Um, so for this activity, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll sing the song once and then we'll do it again together. So it goes like this. We're gonna wave our scarf to start. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Very good, wasn't that fun? Let's try that one more time. On the count of three, Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. <laughs> Very good job. So we're going to do a flannel story called Five Little Pigs Rolled in the Mud. And we're going to sing it to the tune of Five Little Ducks Went Out to Play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get our mud pit ready. So this is our mud pit where the five little pigs are going to be rolling in. Put that there and we'll go ahead and bring our piggies out. So I have them right here. And let's look at the colors. What color is this piggy? That's right, he's pink. And this one is green, a green piggy. And we have a white piggy. But this one is orange. And then last but not least, we have our yellow piggy. So our five little piggies. And the song goes like this. Five little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. How many do we have left? We have four, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. How many do we have left? That's right, three, let's count them. One, two, 
three. Three little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy squashy felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Let's take one piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. How many do we have left? That's right, we only have two piggies. One, two. Two little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy squashy felt so good. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. How many do we have left? There's only one. One little pig rolled in the mud. Squishy squashy felt so good. The farmer took that piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. How many piggies do we have now in the mud pit? There are none. No little pigs rolled in the mud. They all look so clean and good. The farmer turned his back and then those pigs rolled in the mud again. They rolled in the mud again. Let's put them back and count them. One, two, three, four, five little pigs in the mud again. Thank you for being such a good audience. Since we're all going to the fair, let's go ahead and shake our sillies out so that we can get ready. So we're going to sing Shake Our Sillies out and I'm going to kind of go over the different movements that we do. So the first one is shake, shake, shake our sillies out and then we're going to clap, clap, clap our crazies out and then we're going to jump, jump, jump our jiggles out. Then we're going to stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. And then we're gonna do shake our sillies out again. Okay? So are you ready to do shake your sillies out? On the count of three. One, two, three. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap. Clap our crazies out, clap, clap, clap our crazies out, wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out, stretch, stretch. Stretch our stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out, wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, wiggle our waggles away. Whew. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining me. So we have our second book for today and it's called The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog and it's by Mo Willems and we're reading it with the permission of Wernick and Pratt Agency. So I thought this was a really good story to read because it involves hot dogs and that's my favorite food to eat at a fair. hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah, uh, oh, may I help you? Scooty, scoot, scoot. It's a little duckling. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Ah, uh, I have a question. 
I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. The little duck is taking notes. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really, wait a second. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course, enjoy. Go ahead. Uh, would you say it tastes like chicken? Hmm, I wonder how the pigeon's going to react. Doesn't look too happy. Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog. Okay. Okay, okay. So it doesn't taste like chicken? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it. She looks really upset. It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? I think I've got an idea. Oh, what do you think they're going to do? Look at that, they're sharing the hot dog. You know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. Hmm, needs mustard. The end. Thank you so much for joining me in the story time about the fair. Unfortunately, our story time has come to an end. So we're going to go ahead and sing our goodbye song. So if you can clap your hands like this. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Make a smile and wink an eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.